Five seconds to go. Start. In addition, it is contended by the learned solicitor general that the petitioner was alleged to have received money through an online crowdfunding platform and that there were several victims within the territorial jurisdiction of the court of the special judge who had contributed money. In other words, it is the contention of the learned solicitor general that a part of the cause of action had actually arisen within the jurisdiction of the court of the special judge Ghaziabad. From the rival contentions, it appears that two questions arise for consideration before us. They are whether the trial of the offence of money laundering should follow the trial of the scheduled predicate offence or vice versa and whether the court of the special judge anti-corruption CBI court number no. 1 Ghaziabad can be said to have exercised extraterritorial jurisdiction even though the offence alleged was not committed within the jurisdiction of the said court. In order to find an answer to question number 1, it is necessary for us to take note of a few provisions of the PMLA. The word money laundering is defined in section 21p of the act to have the same meaning as assigned to it in section 3. Section 3 of the act makes a person guilty of the offence of money laundering if he directly or indirectly attempts to indulge or knowingly assists or knowingly is a party or is actually involved in any process or activity. Such process or activity should be connected to proceeds of crime including its concealment or possession or acquisition or use. In addition, a person involved in such process or activity connected to proceeds of crime should be projecting or claiming it as untainted property. The explanation under section 3 makes it clear that even if the involvement is in one or more of the following activities or processes namely concealment, possession, acquisition, use, projecting it as untainted property or claiming it as untainted property, the offence of money laundering will be made out. Thus, section 3 comprises of two essential limbs, namely involvement in any process or activity and connection of such process or activity to the proceeds of crime. The expression proceeds of crime is defined in section 21U to mean any property derived or obtained directly or indirectly by any person as a result of criminal activity relating to a scheduled offence or the value of such property or where such property is taken or held outside the country than the property equivalent in value held within the country or abroad. PMLA provides for a two-pronged approach, one for dealing with the proceeds of crime and the other for dealing with with the person guilty of the offence of money laundering. While chapter 3rd and chapter 6 prescribe the procedure for dealing with the proceeds of crime through a process of attachment, confirmation through adjudication and an appellate remedy to the special tribunal, chapter 7 deals with the prosecution of the money launderers by special courts. Section 43.1 of the Act provides for the constitution of special courts by the central government in consultation with the Chief Justice of the High Court. Subsection 2 of Section 43 empowers a special court constituted under Section 43.1 also to try an offence other than the offence punishable under Section 4 of the PMLA with which the accused may be charged at the same trial under the CRPC. In other words, a special court is constituted under section 43.1 primarily for the purpose of trying an offence punishable under section 4. But subsection 2 of section 43 confers an additional jurisdiction 
अपॉन सच ए स्पेशल कोर्ट टू ट्राई एनी अदर ऑफेंस विद विच द एक्यूज मे बी चार्ज एट द सेम ट्रायल सेक्शन फोर्टी थ्री रीड्स एज फॉलोज द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट इन कंसल्टेशन विद द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट शेल फॉर ट्रायल ऑफ ऑफेंस पनिशेबल अंडर सेक्शन फोर बाय नोटिफिकेशन डेजिग्नेट वन और मोर कोर्ट्स ऑफ सेशन एट स्पेशल कोर्ट और स्पेशल कोर्ट्स फॉर सच एरिया और एरियाज और फॉर सच केस और क्लास और ग्रुप ऑफ केसेस एज मे बी स्पेसिफाइड इन द नोटिफिकेशन इन दिस सब सेक्शन हाई कोर्ट मीन्स द हाई कोर्ट ऑफ द स्टेट इन विच अ सेशंस कोर्ट डेजिग्नेटेड एज स्पेशल कोर्ट वॉज फंक्शनिंग इमीडिएटली बिफोर सच डेजिग्नेशन वाइल ट्राइंग एन ऑफेंस अंडर दिस एक्ट ए स्पेशल कोर्ट शैल ऑल्सो ट्राई एन ऑफेंस अदर देन एन ऑफेंस रेफर टू इन सब सेक्शन वन विद विच द एक्यूज मे अंडर द कोड ऑफ क्रिमिनल प्रोसीजर नाइनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री टू ऑफ नाइनटीन सेक्शन 44 फोर डील्स विद द क्वेश्चन ऑफ टेरिटोरियल जूरिस्टिक्शन ऑफ द स्पेशल कोर्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड अंडर सेक्शन 43 थ्री वन स्टोक